Hey everyone, I'm Brugley, and welcome back to the Backrooms Survival Guide series, which of course is a series where I give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to get through this hellscape that we call the Backrooms. I haven't done one of these in 10 months, so if you're high for the return and you want to see the series continue, let me know by leaving a like, thank you for watching, and let's get into this, shall we? So 10 months ago, I left off on level 4, which of course is a really safe spot full of supplies, but now we're moving on to level 5, and this is where things are gonna get dicey, so get out your notebooks, make sure you listen to all I've got to say about this level if you want to make it out alive. So before the video starts, I just want to plug my third channel, Spoogly. If you're new here or you don't know I have a third channel, I do. I upload creepy stuff, things about SCPs and cryptids and UFOs and that kind of thing. So if you're into that, check it out in the description below. Now let's get back to the video. So Backrooms Level 5, of course, is an infinite hotel complex with millions and millions of rooms and hallways and corridors and ballrooms, that sort of thing. You probably already knew that, but if you didn't, there you go. The full description of the level will be in the description of this video. So what exactly are the dangers here? The level is classified as a class 2, and it's really for two reasons. The first is that there's a ton of an entity called Death Moths here. It's sort of a breeding ground for them. They lurk in rooms and hallways that don't have any light, and they can be really aggressive. So the first tip I have for you is to not go in rooms that are dark if you don't have a flashlight, and to definitely not explore deep into the level, because the further you go into the level, the more death moths there's going to be. And if you do happen to run into a death moth horde or something like that, do not run away because that'll, you know, signal them to chase after you. You just need to stand your ground, you know, scream at it, hope it scares it away, and hope it works. The second reason this level is really dangerous is because of a little entity called the Beast of Level 5, which is this six foot tall humanoid with the head of an octopus. That's right. This creature seems to be kinda in control of the level, and it can camouflage itself into things on here, like furniture and paintings and whatever else you can think of. He likes to play with you or his victims, and he likes to do things like jump scaring them and whispering into their ear and then disappearing. And he does this until that person is so sleep deprived that they become weak enough to be eaten. But I do have some tips on how to survive a potential run-in with this creature. And the first tip is to avoid getting paranoid at all costs. If you hear a sound or if you see something moving in the corner of your eye, don't psych yourself out. Don't go crazy. Try to relax as best you can. And definitely don't run away because that'll just, you know, make you more anxious. Also, make sure to bring almond water here with you. So if you start losing your sanity, you can just drink some of that. The next tip is that if you see the Beast of Level 5 in a painting or something like that, do not go near that painting. Slowly turn around, walk the other way, you do not want to antagonize him, and he might not have seen you, who knows? He probably did though. Tip 3 is to not wander far into the level. I mentioned it earlier, but this is not good because the deeper you go, the further from an exit you'll be. So it's important just to stay where you're at and try to find the exit as soon as possible. And the final tip I have here for level 5 is to not go down into the boiler room because if you get down there, it could be bad news. It's extremely confusing and dangerous and it's really hot down there and not much is known about it and it could potentially send you to a bad level, so just don't go down. To exit the level as fast as possible, you're going to need to get there and you're going to need to find an elevator in one of the hallways, run over to it as fast as you can, get in it, and you should be sent out of the level, hopefully. If that doesn't work, there's also an exit in the boiler room, but as I said, you probably should avoid that. Just try the elevator one and see if it works. After this, of course, you will be in the next level, which is level 6, and this is another semi-dangerous level, probably the most dangerous one in the first 10 levels. Now, the main danger here is that everything is completely dark. Like, there's no light here. Even if you have a flashlight, or a headlamp, or a fire, none of it works. You can't see anything. So my first tip for surviving this pitch black level is to try to find a wall. And if you do find a wall, make sure you, you know, you touch it, you hug on it. That way you can just make sure you're going in a straight line. 
because the odds are, if you have a wall, you will get lost. But if you're just wandering around a dark hallway with nothing to touch, you'll probably go insane. Another thing about this level is that it is completely silent. There's no noise here, and no noise even works if you try to make it. So that means you won't be able to hear any footsteps if something is approaching you, and you won't be able to hear where you're going or anything like that. It's pretty much sensory deprivation. This silence can actually make you have auditory hallucinations if you get stuck here for too long, and these can range from just hearing shuffling of feet behind you or something tapping near you, and you'll start to just hear things. Try to ignore them if that happens. Now, it's thought that the only way to exit this level is to walk straight for a long time until you start hearing the faint sound of waves crashing, and then keep walking towards that sound until you find a set of stairs that leads downwards, and these stairs take you to level 7. So yeah, the tips I have for this level is, first of all, try to find a wall to walk by, and then walk completely to straight line, and hope that it leads you to these stairs. Second tip is to not fall for any hallucinations that you might hear, because the odds are you're not actually hearing it, you're just going crazy. And the third and final tip is probably most important. There's actually a colony of a few people that live on this level that are fully adapted to live in the darkness, and they sometimes make noise and stalk you to try to hunt you. So if you see like a smiling figure or somebody like in the shadow, or if you think somebody's following you, it might actually be the case and you might not just be paranoid. So just make sure you're constantly aware, but not too aware to psych yourself out. You know, just find a wall, walk straight, and hope you find the staircase to get out of the level. With these tips that I've talked about in this video, you should easily be able to make it through levels 5 and level 6 of the back rooms. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Comment Guide Brugley if you are still watching. Uh, I hope you're really enjoying the return of this series, I know a lot of you liked it when I used to do it. So if you do want me to continue to do it, drop a like, tell me in the comments that you want it. I'm also going to be experimenting with a little bit of different formats for this series, so stick with me through that as I try to find the best way. Thank you all so much for everything, thank you for all your support on the channels and all my channels, they're just growing so much and I really appreciate it. 2023 is going to be a great year. I'm so motivated to make content and hope you're motivated to watch it. Make sure to check any links below that you need, like my second or third channel. If you want more of me, I upload over there. Drop subs if you want to help out or not. It's your choice. Thank you for everything. I love and appreciate all of you. Make sure to tell somebody that you love and appreciate them because life is short. I'll see you later. Peace.